Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered around here today an Eclipse magnetic jug which has seen much better days unfortunately the magnetism is just not up to par on this magnet so if I'm, if I'm uh, surface grinding a really thin piece of steel say 4 millimeter, the magnetism is really weak on this end Sorry, that end. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can you can kind of push a thin piece of steel around. It's better this end, not as good that end. But so what is happening is, if the steel starts to warm up, it starts to lift off the chuck. The chuck's just not holding it down properly. So yeah, you can imagine on a surface grind, you don't want your steel moving and coming up. I've done a quick. I'm going to try and magnetize this chuck basically remagnetize it I've been told well, I've read that you can't it's something you can't really do you can't really fix these things but you know nothing ventured nothing gained because as it is it's not doing much of a job so I'm just gonna do a pull test on it and see what it's pulling 11.5 so I'm going to take it to bits that's the last bolt out so they those plates aren't actually magnetized one two three four five six seven eight magnets right Welding them to a big slab ad and I'm going to wind this uh, some earth wire I found in a skip. I'm going to wind this around here now. I've gone round that four times and if you're mad enough to try this, <laughs> this is the fastest way of doing it. Let's tip it on its side. You can actually go around really loose like that keep winding and back it off a bit slacken it off and then tighten it up to pack them tight and I'll keep going till I get I get four on this now I've just had to solder a little piece on it's only about three foot and I just ran out of wire so that's my last turn I've done four turns on each side I don't know if that's enough that's what I've done. I originally did five turns around the other side, but then I realised I wasn't going to have enough wire, so I unwound one, and that's where we are. Um, one thing I'll say when you're winding these, and if you've just tack welded these posts on, like I did, when you're winding the coils around, make sure that uh, it doesn't fall off your bench. Because if it lands on one of them, it'll snap it off. Uh, then you'll have to uncoil all your wire to weld it back on again. Um, don't ask me how I know that. So I finished. Uh, made an electromagnet. North Pole, South Pole. That's as is. Try that one. South. North. Made a difference. Wow. So this is one of the magnets and I've loaded this plate up. So that it barely lifts it. So they want to go that way. Right. That's right. Uh, 
I believe if you tap the magnet with a piece of brass it does something probably an old wives tale Give it another burst. Could you possibly just hit that? Could you destroy it? I don't know. Go for it. That feels stronger. Wow, yes, that's worked. I've just reassembled it on top of that piece of glass so it's dead flat and I'm going to do the pull test again I think it was, was it 10 or 12 kilos? can't quite remember eleven so that is the chuck back together in the order that it came out I'll put all the magnets back exactly the same and There's a little, there is a little bit more strength actually, but I don't think that's still enough. Because I don't, I don't think you should be able to move that on there like that. Piece of 3 milli ones tool steel. No, I don't think you should be able to move that. It's added a little bit more magnetism, but nothing, you know, it's, it's nothing that is massively noticeable. So I had resigned myself when I got the uh, surface grinder and I saw this chuck and I used it for the first time and the, the steel was just skittering and moving a bit. I just thought I'm going to have to buy a new chuck. But I'd seen people remagnetize magnets and I just have to have a go at things like that, you know, it's, it's, uh, I like experimenting with things. I've remagnetized the magnets, I've increased the power somewhat on them, but it doesn't really seem to make a massive amount to the chuck. This chuck is too big anyway, uh, the Herbert only grinds about 10 inches, 10 and a half inches, that's all it'll do. This thing is probably 14 inches. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my subscribers. See you soon in the next vid. Bye for now.